smart turnaround jump. No good. We got the run. Hey, you want to get into the paint like he did on that last play against Jeff Green. A missed opportunity there for Giannis. Now Middleton defending on Durant. Look out. Pushing foul called on Lopez. And the Bucks are over in the foul limit. And, and right here, Harden called off the double team, said, I got this. And he was correct. Forces Giannis into a tough fadeaway jump shot. As I believe a foul was called against Milwaukee on that last play, Mark. Yes, yeah, so and there's Brooke Lopez number four. Mike Bootenholzer, I believe, has challenged the call. And Harden looked like he might have grabbed his arm a bit on that play. It is a foul. It's, that's, well, that's a close call. He did go up right there. James Harden getting to the line. Harden one for one at the line here tonight. An 86% free throw shooter during the regular season. Bucks have only one timeout remaining. Nets have two. Nets have a foul to give. Harden has been tremendous in the final three minutes of games. One of the great free throw shooters in the clutch. And he hits both for a two-point lead for the Nets. With a minute and 20 remaining, fourth quarter. Again, it's green defending on Giannis. Giannis is fouled. And not a bad play there defensively by Jeff Green. You got Giannis in the paint. You know he's a great finisher at the basket. Jeff Green uses a foul right here. Tried to foul him before Giannis went into his shot. But understanding the struggles that he's had at the free throw line, not a bad play there by Jeff Green at all. Steve Nash coming out to center court. You wonder if he's counting to himself <laughs> for the 10 second rule. Giannis is two for three at the line. Thus far, has had all kinds of problems at the line throughout the playoffs against Miami and against Brooklyn. And at this point, if Giannis cannot make his free throw here, Coach Bud may think of going to Middleton on that next possession offensively. Middleton has been the closer much of the year for the Bucks down the stretch for his shot-making abilities. He's 13 for 33 from the line in this series. But hits one of two. He'll take it. One-point lead for the Nets. With a minute 14 to play in the fourth. So Green walks it across. Hart played by Holliday. You have to think Durant will get the ball here on this play. Possibly a post-up opportunity. Hart's waiting too long. The crush the defense by the walking out. Durant fires and hits! With the shot clock running down, he hits from downtown. Four-point lead for the Nets. It's Holiday on the drive, gets it over to Lopez, and he puts it down. Good play by Holiday. Two-point game. 44 seconds remaining in the fourth. Good pressure here by the Bucks, And Harris, looking at Steve Nash, calls for time. So the Nets have one timeout remaining, as do the Bucks. And this was just a poor possession. Harden dribbled the clock out, but was bailed out by Kevin Durant. Not an easy shot. Makes it look easy. One dribble pull up, and he knows it feels good. And on the other end, a quick hitter. Beautiful drive and dish. Finding Brook Lopez inside. And this is going to come down to the stretch, the way these two teams are performing down at the end of this game offensively. But... Kevin, the entire game, are it's been a legendary performance. And will it be a legendary finish? Remains six points here in the fourth quarter. He has played every minute in this game five. The series is all even at two. 
Game six coming up in Milwaukee. Seven, it will be back in Brooklyn. It's a must. And I, I think actually out of this sideline, out of bounds, uh, out of bounds play, getting Durant the ball and letting him operate at the top, where he's been so effective here in the second half. James Harden trying to pick his spot as to where we're going down. Kenny Bauer says, "No, come back a little bit." And now Harden, played by Holiday, on the hop to Durant, met by P.J. Tucker. Durant checking. That shot clock got a 15. Putting moves on Tucker. He's got a seven. Durant for three. It is off the back of the rim. Here comes Giannis. Two point Brooklyn lead. Middleton. Met by Durant on a switch. Middleton with a pass that's broken up. Jeff Green got a hand on it. And Durant comes up with a loose ball and is fouled with 15.3 to go in the fourth. And an untimely turnover on a beautiful move by Middleton. But once again, Jeff Green, his presence. Fumbled the ball by Giannis, who had a dunk opportunity, and Jeff Green able to secure the turnover and get the ball to that man, Kevin Durant, who has 46. And talk about some passion and emotion, James playing it there, understanding what's at stake here. Durant, 11 to 13 at the line, at a three-point Brooklyn lead. Marv, the Bucks only have one timeout, so they may try to get it in quickly and get down the court for a quick two or three opportunity. Four-point game. Here comes Giannis, and he's fouled by Harden, and that is a good foul. Definitely a great foul. Giannis had a head of steam. He's going to easily get to the rim and convert. Harden. Great awareness there, fouling Giannis, making him earn it at the free throw line. Earlier, we had asked Steve Nash in light of this, James looking for more support for the crowd, but the decibel level is about the highest I've ever seen here in Brooklyn. But we had to say, I go pretty low. But Giannis hits the first. This is the second rebounded by Durant, who's tied up and fouled by both Adeke Kumbo and Middleton, and Durant upset. He was virtually put into a headlock. So that means Durant to go to the line. The Nets lead by three. Durant or one of your good free throw shooters. All right, here's Middleton with a catch and shoot three. Rebound shot it. And then Kevin Durant took over with a legendary playoff performance. Just incredible. So the Nets bounce back from the center of the And the Nets now lead this best of seven. Brooklyn trail by as many as seven.